everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we're going to check out U-Wave. It's a Android 2.1 emulator for Windows, uh, extracting the Windows installable file that I downloaded to my desktop. And get that out of the way and find it on this messy thing and open it up to install it. A uh, whole lot easier than installing the SDK and building your own emulator, you know, which a lot of people they just don't feel like going through all that, and I can understand it. Uh, this is just a Windows app, and you know you got an agreement here. You need to accept. I, I always read them. Uh, the default location is fine. If you know you want it somewhere else, go ahead and click next until it starts to install. And it's pulling all the files it would need from the SDK and building an emulator that runs on a virtual box inside of Windows. Sounds pretty complicated. It is pretty complicated, but it's really portable, so this is cool. You can just click, install it, and run it. And it's registering everything, and it runs as a native Windows app. And it's finished installing it, so we'll click through. It tells you it's installed and where your applications directory is. Uh, we'll look more at that here in a second. Let's get this thing fired up. Open it like any Windows app. And you can see it's, you know, it's, it's a Windows container, and... Over on the left hand side you've got an advertisement of course and some apps and some buttons. On the right you can see a, you know, a machine starting up and it's Android, what we're all familiar with there. From It's running at Claire. We'll see more about the settings here. Pops up pretty quickly. It doesn't take long to load. Uh, let's look into the settings. You can see exactly what you're dealing with. Click. Uh, you can scroll with the mouse scroll wheel. You can double tap, you know, double click to tap and long click, uh, no multi-touch. We tried, no way we could find it. Here you can see it's 2.1, update one. Simulated commands, uh, that some apps need you to have a phone or a messaging app, so they've faked it, so you can install those other apps. Uh, what, you know, and speaking of installing apps, you can go to some of the other app stores. You know, there's a couple out there, GetJar or SlideMe. Uh, I'm not, you know, going to show any favoritism, so I'm going to go to Android Central just so we can check out the way the page elements look, and you can see, you know, the overall speed of the thing. If you, you know, interested in, you know, heading over and installing something to fool around with, it's pretty interesting. And it, you know, it loads through your LAN, takes a second to get started, but it's, you know, what you're used to if you would visit Android Central, you know, the full site on your phone. This is what you'd see. Again, the mouse wheel scrolls through, you double tap to zoom. If you click that, it opens up the new window through JavaScript. There's Kevin Bacon. Hi, Kevin. Uh, you know, just like you'd see it on your phone. And you zoom in and out with double tap. And you can pan and zoom the whole shebang. Everything but two finger or more touch. So, you bring this up, you can see it's, you know, it is a clear. It doesn't have any extras in the browser. No, no sort of flash light or anything. So, you, you won't really want to use this as a web browser especially on your PC, but it's handy to go install games or other apps. A lot of this other stuff, camcorder, camera, you know, it's not going to work, but it's needed for other applications. Uh, over here you've got some apps that were pre-sideloaded. Uh, you double-click one, you see in the bottom it takes a second and installs it over, puts it in the app drawer. Uh, that'll go away when you reboot. You start up, play just as if it was installed on a phone. Uh, game works the same way because, as far as it's concerned, it's you know it's running on on a phone. It, it doesn't distinguish between what device it's on. It's Android. You've got some other links for apps that are popular downloads from free market sites. Uh, here's Alchemy. It tells you it's downloading that from SlideMe. Uh, we'll say yes. You see Angry Birds. It doesn't run on this. It needs an ARM processor. It's just popular, so it's in the popular category. You've downloaded it and you click it and it'll install over, but you can only run one side loaded app at a time. Uh, must be something with the naming convention. You notice it sn snaps right back to the one that was running, so you have to back out of it before you can install and run one of the apps you've loaded. So I wanted to tell you that so you don't think you're seeing some problems that aren't really there. And Alchemy plays just like Alchemy on the phone as well. Uh, you can see you even got the ads at the bottom. It's it's a phone. It's it's what exactly what we're used to, just running through an emulator on your PC. Uh, no Mac or Linux client. Sorry about that. If you open your documents and 
look inside the UA folder Android apps this is where your sideload apps are let's say you have something on your phone already that, that you want to put on here and play with uh, you can just copy it into this folder and you see it's got some settings it saves that's for the app drawer you know the the installed app drawer let me copy this ebook I've been reading over that doesn't save phone settings you can't use this as a little bitty mail client on your PC or anything it, it just won't do it start it back up after I've copied my book and it's right there ready to go it looks like but uh like I said it's it doesn't save anything real but it saved your position and a snapshot so the machine is loading behind there it gives you something better to look at so you have to give it a few minutes for the the fake device to load up and there it's up and running copy over my ebook and I can zip through and read it just like you know I could on a phone uh, it's not synced or anything it's the same copy from one of my phones so you know no real magic there just a good way to you know move things around and you know look at it on your laptop or netbook without having to install the SDK you all take it easy and I'll see you later